Okay, so here's some helpful things to know on emotional intelligence, uh, which is like EQ. Um, subversion, what makes a useful idiot. And uh, you can't just like, you know, I already said we can't talk our way out of that stuff. So um, if you don't have emotional intelligence, and you're going you're going to be forced in uh you know tense situations to ban block silence um you know get tripped up in the many ways that you can use people's speech against them to almost nullify their speech um or basically run them around in circles where people play these stupid games in circles um, and what I also mean by games is just the progress to getting there. While people are trying to get to these enlightened states, um, states of balance and things like that that people are talking about, they're susceptible to being useful idiots the whole time. And what makes subversion really interesting is it's kind of built into those principles and concepts. Like Marxism is... You know, if you, if you do certain stupid shit, you get exploited in Marxism, everything else um, comes along with the territory of being exploitable as opposed to unfuckwithable. As uh, the word goes around out there, there's buzzwords. The unfuckwithable. Unshakable Christ. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't have EQ, then you could be a useful idiot. You can be misdirected all around. You can be fed all sorts of narratives because you'll feed into always the pessimism. You always feed in the pessimistic shit. And you're more susceptible to do that. The more ego and things that you um, build inside yourself, you know, if you find it enchanted, enchanting, uh, like dark web, uh, intellectual dark web. Those guys all have the ideology psychosis which is identity politics and they sit there and feed that and then they uh you know they still have the standards they look for standards that is their dying culture they try to hold people up to the same they're not the only ones i don't mean to like pick on them I'm just mention them because they're popular um and and popular doesn't mean good none of that means good all these statistics and stuff we use our, our measurements of a sick society. That's how we would measure things in a, in a sick society. So, um, you know, they're, they're not really valid, in my opinion, measurements, normie culture shit. Um, that's, that's all, like, old, old stuff. Doesn't have enough occult, esoteric stuff in it, I guess. It's more like academic uh, nonsense. MK Ultra, call it MK Ultra, or stuff that makes you useful idiots, useful for Marxism, uh, buying shit all the time, postmodernism. You give rise to what people are calling postmodernism, where you know you're like a, a snowflake. You can't handle the facts. Your feels can't handle the facts. Um, so that doesn't really grant you the warped perception that you think it does, or that people think it do. They do. Like if I was angry at something, that's my anger is not going to make me right. Doesn't make me. Doesn't make what I'm. Even if I am right in placing my anger, it doesn't take care of the problem. And people dupe themselves like all the time, and they they live really attached to the fact that they can't run around and dupe others into this stupid, watered down, adulterated um, culture for fucking pop culture pussies basically what it is a bunch of brain damaged academics that live on their feelings which aren't real they live inside their feelings i believe socrates said something like this too a uh, system based on emotions instead of like values or something is like worthless pretty much is and that's what they live you know so they live a worthless life to a worthless agenda um you know, worthless things go where worthless things end up in the universe. Obviously, if you don't care, you end up, you know, wherever they see that the the spectrum is for people that don't care. You know, that's they're the same kind of person. 
if they're just going to throw away all their power, their potential to schizophrenia and delusions and to build this fucked up system or to try to support this, this screwed up system and buy off the insecurity, the instability, um, then, you know, that that's what they're going to get. And that's going to eventually turn into communism, from a circus to communism. Because the circus is so easy to clean up, the swamp. You even have a guy over in Russia who's into, like, mysticism and stuff. He talks about the swamp and shit like that. Uh, yeah, they have a real easy way to clean that up. And they're not fucking joking around. That's You're the idiot that thinks they are. <laughs> and, uh... You know, that's that's basically what a useful idiot is. They walk around assuming shit because the reality is too scary. The possibility and potential is too scary. Somebody being more um, fucking supernatural, you say. Someone being conniving, cunning. They can't fathom that being better than them. Like, there's people out there that are way trickier than these fucking dipshits. And these dipshits think they're tricky. Everybody I've met, not one of them is fucking crafty. They're all a bunch of goddamn fools. And if they're trying to be crafty to one another and they don't realize that that's just stupid entertainment nonsense like I do, which is associative play. That's why I have like associative play because it's just silly entertainment. I'm just running my mouth and rambling and stuff like that. Yeah, you can present facts and things like that. Um, you can present truths and put, like, philosophy in with comedy. But it's all just, like, an act and a play. It's not, like, real. Um, otherwise, you get merit and all that stuff. And that's not really a philosophy. That's, like, alchemy. You get self-merit. And, and that's just obvious things. The fact that people don't realize the obvious, and they do take need to take this long just to grasp basic concepts within themselves in like a spirit science sense is is crazy okay so there's like an element of crazy out there and these people it's, it's everywhere uh it took like a fucking miracle to get out of it i'm telling you like uh, the only way i go out get out of it was like a, a miracle just had to like admit i'm stupid you know i was a fool the fool was like the door out and then I start looking at all my ways. It was me. I, you know, I look in the mirror. I don't go out and like I, to to get uh, where I want to be spiritually. I didn't allow myself to block people, to silence people, or to get all triggered inside. I that was ridiculous. Um, so, but you can feed the narratives off the inverse. So, and that that's like a type of magic. A kind of chaos magic, which a guy in uh, Alexander Dugan, I think his name is, in Russia, he talks about that. And that's what they use. And they have a similar agenda to um, overcome basically the mess that is what you would call normies, norm normal society. And subversion is very effective against these people they don't realize that they're probably the stupidest motherfuckers i ever ever met and i met drug smarter than these people so you can you can imagine that the flip the potential to flip and subvert is really great because these people are, are truly lost they need help they won't even want to admit that but you can cut them the grace and mercy uh, i guess out of the goodness of your heart but then that offers up all sorts of other back doors and that allow exploitation. And some people take advantage of them. They're like a wolf in sheep's clothing. I meet a lot of people like that. Um, in fact, almost everyone I've met that I ever was showed mercy and grace, they come back to, to try and stick it in your ass or stab you in the back. Uh, and they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. They laugh at you. They mock you. Um, you know that they'll, if if you're wrong, they they have a real intense. Uh, they're heavy instead of light. Instead of make light, you know they're real heavy. They kind of play like mirages and tricks. They pretend to be good. Um, those people are all fools. They're they're lying to themselves, and they're the most useful people for subversion. And they're kind of like the pinnacle of what what an example is out there uh, especially in like psychology 
those people, like I said, are the use, most useful idiots out there. And it's going to take them, it's going to be a hard crash for them to realize that.